Hi Sagittarians. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing your general spread. I'm going to get the strongest energies around you right now. I'll look at something you've recently been through, the person you've been dealing with, if you've been dealing with someone, and what is headed in in the next few days to few weeks. That super moon in Capricorn charged everything we had Wednesday night into Thursday morning. But I just kind of feel that everybody's outlook on everything is changing. So this is good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Moss Sagittarius and energies can be moved around. This will not resonate with everyone. I have to say those because I always feel I have certain messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please. One more shuffle. Strongest energies around them right now, spirit guides. Thank you, Sagittarius. Show me the cards I need to see for the strongest energies around Sagittarius. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Strongest energies around the sign of Sagittarius. This reading is for. Strongest energies right now, please. Thank you. I knew this card was going to pop up. I felt it. I have the never-ending story. And I have it with chop wood. <laughs> Right now around you, um, this is something that you're deciding whether maybe I should just throw it in the fire pit. I think you're, you're like up to here with something because the next card in front of me is by the book. So this is a beautiful card. It's about trudging forward with a lot of strength about being true to you and not forgetting something I feel that keeps the never ending story. Like I've get, they feel like you've given something so many chances and I feel that right now around here is like, should I just charge forward? I, I, they're beautiful creatures, the elephants, but they don't forget. Underneath the deck, I do have exchanging gifts with milk and honey. And then come to the edge. Come to the edge card is about taking a risk with something. Taking a leap. Getting to the point of, should I just trudge forward and just take a leap off this cliff and just do something new, go somewhere new, somebody new. Because with the never-ending story and chop wood, that's just something in your life that everybody's going through a weird phase right now of looking at the things in their life that, <clears throat> you know, uh, we got to clean up. We got to clean up. All right. I have exchanging gifts with milk and honey. And exchanging gifts to me is always a card of the universe trying to give you something. And that's what I feel from the card. I always go by how I feel. And with milk and honey, I just kind of feel like this is something that as soon as you decide what it is that you want by your book, you're going to take a chance with something. And I feel with milk and honey, that's when things will start coming in for you. Like it's something you truly been waiting for. The rainbow and the pot of gold and just finally. Because I feel there's something here that has been blocking your energy. But I'm going to look at your recent past. I have the two of pentacles under the deck, uh, recent past for the beautiful sign of Sagittarius. What would you like to show me please? Recent past for Sagittarius. Thank you spirit guide. Show me a little bit about Sagittarius recent past. Why are these here in their current energies? Recent past. <clears throat> For the beautiful sign of Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Recent past, please. For the sign of Sagittarius. What else do you want to show me? Anything else? Recent past. Thank you. Anything else? Sagittarius. I always tell when they're done. That's weird. Must have flipped out. Wow, it was like this. That is so weird. And then I have one on my lap, of course. Okay. Underneath the deck is I have the two of swords. So recently you've been at this big place of trying to make a decision on something that you've been very strong through, courageous. But that two of swords is a place of, the only reason you've been at a crossroads is because you've been unsure. You wanted to believe something. You were hoping that something, but you didn't see the truth of something here. Because underneath the strength and two of swords I have the moon. And the moon is a big major arcana. It's Pisces energy, but it's just telling me about the energies, you know, that 
you've been trying to make a decision about someone or something that you've had a blindfold on. You were unsure. And then underneath all that, I have your fire energy, the Ten of Wands. Like, uh, trying to make everybody happy, doing too much. Your fire energy, I feel that there was a situation in your life that just started creating a lot of weight to you. Constant weight, because then I have the Queen of Fire showing up. Oof, with the tower. So the Queen of Wands is showing up, Sagittarius. And it's something I feel that... You came into this energy of, you knew that, you know, there's something recently in your past. I feel you've been through that you were trying to make a decision about. And with the tower here, either you said something or you flung your fire wand and it came crashing down. Someone or something. There's too much weight. It's a lot of weight. A ten of wands, ten of fire on your back. And then I had the magician. So the magician is, uh, What I feel from this is I feel like you tried to create magic with something. You had a lot of strength and courage through something here. You, you tried to make something happen. And I have it with the Five of Wands. Well, the Five of Wands is a lot of fire of battling, constant conflicts, constant with something or someone. I think it's with someone because underneath your other cards, they have the Five of Cups. So rolling into your current energies is the never ending story has created nothing but a lot of conflicts for you. And it's gotten to this point where I feel it's been emotionally draining you because all you want is just peace with milk and honey. And I kind of feel that right now around you is you're playing everything by the book. I really do feel that. And you're willing to take a risk with something or someone. And if not, you're willing to just take a new risk somewhere else with something or someone because never ending, never any story and chop wood. Come on. That's, that's around you right now. Okay. Or recently you've been feeling that, but let's look at what's coming in for you in a minute, but I want to look at the opposing. If you are not dealing with anyone, who do I want to use? There's a timestamp in the description box. Move into the incoming. Let's use the traditional. All right. Who do I have here? I have the Page of Wands, Crossing Energies for Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Crossing Energies, please. Hmm. Crossing Energies, thank you. What would you like to show me? Tell me a little bit. Oof. Sorry. <laughs> About the Crossing Energies for the sign. Sagittarians, crossing energies, please. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. What else do you want to show me? And it stops. Well, they don't want something to be over here, that's for sure. Because they feel this is their destiny, Sagittarius. I got the lovers. Well, that's Gemini energy, but this is someone who feels you're their destiny. You're their destiny. You're like, this is, this is the one. This is the one. That's how they feel about you. But that's a very hard connection as well. It's a push and pull. And then I have the magician. This is someone I feel who has been pulling out all the stops to make something happen with you because I feel they're afraid you're going to walk away. I got the eight of cups. I feel that they're afraid. So whoever you've been dealing with is afraid of you having enough, like you walking away. They're, they fear it. I don't know why I'm saying that, but hold on. Four swords, two swords, someone who is trying to lay down their heart and mind and make a decision about something they've been very unsure of. But what I do feel is they are afraid of losing you. Okay. All right. Should I take it? Uh, let's leave them here. I just kind of felt something. I do have the ten of swords in reverse with the eight of swords sideways. A lot of air energy. But the Ten of Swords in reverse is they don't want anything to be over with you. They are trying to come out of a place of trapped in fear with their thoughts. Like their thoughts are always eating at them. Maybe their thoughts always make them jealous. Or maybe their thoughts always, there's something about their thoughts that 
messes with this person a lot. I have more air energy, the Six of Swords. And then I have the King of Love in reverse. Wow, that's a very unstable king. That's the King of Love. Big water energy. But uh, this is somebody who is very unbalanced emotionally. I'm just going to say that because I have the Eight of Swords sideways with the Ten of Swords in reverse. The Six of Swords is about trying to get to calmer waters because they're very emotionally unbalanced. They're just having, they, they're, they're, they can't balance their heart with their mind. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, well. Oh. You guys like, what? I have the Nine of Wands. This is somebody who uh, is always protecting their fire energy. In other words, they always feel they have to be defensive with you about something. I have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is someone who, uh, it's earth energy, but this is someone who's very hard and focused and putting a lot of work into something, but they're protecting their fire energy and they're emotionally out of sync. I'm not gonna say any mean words because people go through rough times because the last card they gave me is good old Seven of Swords. Well, it's it, it, the Seven of Swords is more air energy. I don't know if you're dealing with an air sign, it, it wouldn't surprise me, but there's a lot of signs there. So I don't, it's just telling me the energy. But that Seven of Swords, well, <sighs> all right. I feel like it's someone who is constantly looking behind them about the things they're doing that are messed up. You know, and then they try to get away with it and run in a different direction, hoping you won't notice. But I, I feel you've been overly patient from the never ending story with Chop Wood. And what you want is you want your milk and honey. And you want it with exchanging gifts, it's something that's beautiful. All right, that's enough because I start to feel too much. Uh, they're at a crossroads right now. But they're, I'm going to tell you right now, they're not going to let you go. Okay, with these two fives ending here and you being at a crossroads. Oh my gosh, I have all these other cards here I didn't see in your recent past. We're going to do it. Um, I have the Three of Cups in reverse. I have the World in reverse. And I have the Lovers in reverse. So um, the Three of Cups is you feel that something here isn't coming together with love. And with the world here, you're starting to feel that something that you once thought was your destiny, that you thought that this was a karmic tie with, that you felt chained to in a, in a beautiful way, is starting to make you feel like, I got to disconnect from this, maybe for just a little while, hoping that with the world in reverse here, hoping that something is just a cycle and maybe something can change out of this because it just keeps playing around and around and around, whatever you've been dealing with. Because I have the Queen of Swords in reverse, and then I have the Moon <clears throat> upright. You coming into your current energies, um, the Moon upright is telling me with the Queen of Swords in reverse is you really didn't want to have to cut somebody out of your life from the things you already intuitively knew. Like you were trying to battle, like the two, like go back and forth with something here, because I think you really did care for somebody. But, all right, let's look at what's coming in from my beautiful Sagittarians. Who shall I use? Um, all right, let's use these. Pardon me for a minute. Okay, incoming energies. Incoming energies for the beautiful sign of Sagittarius, please. few cards about the incoming and then I'll get some cards. Show me the strongest incoming energies for the sign of Sagittarius Spirit. Thank you. What would you like to tell me about the incoming energies for the sign of Sagittarius? Strongest incoming energies. Anything else? Nope. Well. Okay. I, I can see two cards. So underneath the deck I have obedience. Because the card next to that is I have honesty. And you're coming into this energy of either somebody can learn a lesson. And I think you're getting into this energy of seeing the truth about everything or someone. 
because with this card here, it's a very powerful card, and I have that Queen of Wands. It's like you've been trying to teach someone a lesson. All right, let's just keep looking, because underneath that I have Strength, and I have it with Oath. So Strength is uh, Leo energy, but that's having, it's like in this deck, it's a tree, a big tree, big trunk. It's like coming back into this, you know, oath to yourself of strength. Because you have by the book and your current energies with the elephant trudging forward. One more card. And the card is, I put my glasses on. Sorry. I have meditation. I feel like this is where you're going to find your answers, Sagittarians, about what is going to ignite your fire of honesty. And I feel it's with yourself about getting back to your strength. And with Oath here, I feel that strong pull about self. And that's what I feel that whole supermoon has done for everyone. Back to getting unchained from unhealthy situations. It's supercharged everybody at looking at everything. All right, let's look at what's coming in for you. I do apologize if I talk too much, but um, yeah, we use the light sears. Two of Pentacles under the deck. Incoming energies, please, for the beautiful sign of my Sagittarians. Incoming in the next few days to few weeks. What would you like to show me, Spirit Guides? Incoming energies. Thank you. For the sign of Sagittarius. In the next few days to few weeks, show me why these are here in their incoming oracles. Incoming cards for the sign of Sagittarius. Tell me about the incoming, thank you. Energies, thank you for the sign of Sagittarius. Anything else you'd like to tell me so I can tell Sagittarius, incoming energies. Underneath the deck is I have the king, the king of pentacles. Wow, big Taurus energy, but that's the king of, oof, coming into this earthy energy of everything to do with your money, your finances, your stability, your home, and being true to you. That's a, that's a king. And underneath that, I do have the beautiful high priestess. You know, basically doing what you need to do with your intuition about your ultimate stability and taking charge of a situation here. Two of Wands is showing up, your fire energy, but this is a place of you getting ready to take a risk with something. Uh, the Two of Wands is you're looking out of your window. You know it's time for you to move forward with something. And then I have it with the Six of Cups. So that is um, somebody you've known a long time. I think you're jumping out of the window to go towards that. And it could be something maybe to do with your own passionate creativity. Because underneath all that, I have the Ace of Wands. That's the Ace of Passionate Creativity. Something that maybe you lost yourself from, you know, from maybe a friend, an old connection. Three of Wands, more fire energy. I have the Ace, the Two, and the Three. In the incoming energies telling me that once you decide to move forward here with your fire energy, something is going to come towards you and it's going to be a creative, new, passionate Ace of Fire. Wow. Then I have the Six of Swords. That is the rite of passage to calmer waters towards your ultimate happiness. With the Eight of Wands, that's fast fire energy flying in at you because something in your life has come full circle. The world. The world is the major arcana about full circle. You've learned lessons. You, you tried to make things work. You learned, but perhaps you had to teach somebody else a lesson at the same time because something was aligned here. Because I saw obedience and I felt you were being very patient about something or someone. It's a completion. You're about to start new cycles from everything that you had no clarity on. I'm going to stop there. The moon and the world. To my left is the Hierophant. Well, that is getting there. That is climbing to a higher level of commitment, a better job, more spirituality, faith. And I have it with justice sideways. And that is about you 
having the faith and commitment to everything in your life that's been out of balance. You, you are done. You are done. If it's not fair and just, and if it's not balanced and it's not making you happy, I just kind of feel like you're coming into this energy of, I've had enough. Huh. I have the Queen of Wands and I have the Hanging Man upright. In other words, in reverse, I suppose, but you're looking upright with the Queen of Fire. Uh, you see everything now. And with the Queen of Determination here, I do feel that this is about you getting to a place of the top of the ladder of what you really want because I saw the King of Pentacles. Your money, your stability. If there's something that's been blocking you, I think you're chopping it up and throwing it in the fire pit. I do have the Magician showing up and this is the Almighty Creator and it's with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is finally looking above the clouds, Sagittarians, with truth, honesty, integrity. And now you're in be in this full on creation mode of what it is that you really want. I do have the page of swords in reverse. I kind of feel that you're going to start tapering off certain communications or trying to talk to people in a certain way. And I think you're done thinking about it. Like you're like, I think you're making your mind up about something because I have the knight of swords and that's the knight the, of air. And I think once you make your mind up about something, you're going after something with a fast forward way of thinking and you've got a lot to say. So I don't know who's in your path, but I can tell you right now with the King of Swords here and the Magician, that is some big ass power with the Queen of Wands and the Hierophant and the Hanging Man upright. Wow. I think you're going after what you want to do with your money, being the king of your success, your stability. No matter what's been blocking you, you're coming back into, I want my money. I want my power. I'm going to get it. What do I got to do? Do I got you start? I think you're going to start throwing things out of your life that emotionally have been draining you. Because I saw your recent past with the Ten of Wands. That's always wait, always wait. All right, I am going to get a few messages for you from my spirit guides today. Just two. I always say that, and three or four come out, but two, two messages for the sign of Sagittarius. What would you like to tell them, please? That King of Swords and the Magician is power, and that's the King of Air, and there's no emotion, and looking above the clouds, it's like, wow, detached energy of either that or Aquarian is going to keep trying to create something with you. I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be very different for everyone, but that's just what I feel because I have the Knight of Swords with it because I do think someone doesn't want to let you go, but if you're not dealing with somebody, I think you're just creating what it is you truly want with your truth. And back into your own. You're going for it. Spirit guides, two messages. Oh. For the sign. Wow, such Okay, that's all I'm taking. You guys. <laughs> when they flip like that, it's a very strong message. And they're both Angel Gabriel. Mm. You guys got the four and the nine. 49. 94. Four. Time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work. The King of Pentacles. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Just telling you what the cards are saying. Because then they gave you the nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward, Sagittarius. Be prepared for any possibilities, environmental activism. Hey, whenever I get that card, that is environmental act activism. I mean, you have the ace of, ace of Fire and the Queen of Fire. And I just feel like you're going to get the will and determination to haul ass forward because underneath those other cards, I have the Knight of Wands. And it's with the Ten of Wands, the things that have become a giant weight. It's like you're finally, you, you're like, you're gone. And then I have the Lovers with the Five of Cups. Can't make it up. And the Eight of Cups. So... The Eight of Cups is, is this emotionally making you happy anymore? Because I think you're kind of going to start to go towards something that you truly want to do with your money and your stability. And back to Earth self. This is what I have for you, my beautiful Sagittarians. If you guys enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to like, um, subscribe if you're not. Thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful Sagittarians for all your love and support. And wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you.